Hello, my friends. This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's quick tip video, we're going to cover how do you view underlying rows of data when you have a data point in a Tableau worksheet? Let's dive into that. So let me go ahead and pop over to my worksheet here. Basic text table showing me sales uh, across different states and years. Now, let's say that I find a data point of interest and I say, okay, $379 in Arizona in 2019. Was that one transaction? Was that 10 transactions? Who was this? Where did it go? What products was it? There's so many questions I might want to ask about this, right? And so as, as Tableau developers, you know, we can create underlying worksheets people that can drill down to, but it's kind of hard to maybe uh, guess everything that somebody would want to know. So one option is just to teach them this, right? Right click on a data point, And if you want to do multiple, you can, but right click on a data point and select view data. Okay. And specifically, this is, I'm showing you from Tableau Desktop, but varieties of this should be available in, in Tableau Online, Tableau Server as well. Um, so it's going to start by just showing me a summary of the data that's in the worksheet. So nothing you know, too groundbreaking there, but I've got this option here for full data. So let me go ahead and select that. So yes, I've selected you know, two values in my worksheet, but it's actually you know, 48 rows of data that make up all of those values. So now I can see all of the row level transactions. A lot of people don't know this, but you can actually sort those values as well. And here's another good thing to know. You're not limited to just seeing the fields that you're using in that worksheet, right? So you can actually select show fields and you can either manually select additional fields you'd like to add, like, hey, give me my profit or you know, give me my order ID. Um, or you can even just say show all fields, right? So I can go to the very top of this thing and just toggle all of these on. And now I'm looking at the entire underlying table of data for all 48 rows, which in, went into making up these two data points in this worksheet. Uh, not only that, but you know, if I wanted to do something like download this, I can. So then I could, you know, take this to an Excel or a CSV, share it with somebody, or maybe even do my own analysis outside of Tableau, whatever it is I want to do with that. So there you go. There's a little breakdown into how you can view underlying data in Tableau. So thanks for checking this out. Um, Ollie and I drop videos like this every week on the channel. Also, if you check out this info button up here in the top corner, we run Tableau classes every month. So if you want to take your development game to the next level, we got stuff on Tableau prep, Tableau desktop, dashboarding calculations, you name it. Um, we'd love to have you there. We'd love to get to know you better. And we'd love to answer your questions and help you achieve everything that you could in Tableau. So thanks for following along and we'll catch you on another video here soon.